It is the first day of summer, but we're already at the end of our first record breaking heat wave of the year. Many Texans are, of course, worried about grid conditions after ERCOT issued a voluntary conservation notice yesterday. Our Kathy Hernandez is live at a library in Northwest Harris County where folks can go for some relief from the heat if they need it. Kathy, good morning. And good morning to you. Texas reached record breaking levels of 80,000 megawatts and we're expected to rise to that level again today. That means ERCOT could issue another voluntary conservation notice. It's a lot of power. To put it in quite a literal terms, this is enough power to basically power 90% of the state at a given time. ERCOT has an EEA. It's like a, an emergency type cascade where you start it please and then go to you should and then start they start going through demand response type stuff. We won't get anywhere near that today. The voluntary conservation notice is part of ERCOT's new notification system to alert Texans to what's going on with the grid. It's one step above a weather watch. ERCOT last week issued a weather watch through today because of high electrical demand due to this excessive heat. Right now, the electrical grid is still in good condition and can meet the demand. Weather watches will likely come up again this summer. CEO Pablo Vega says these notices don't indicate the grid is in trouble. Voluntary conservation is a very widely used industry tool that can help lower demand for specific periods of time. Here are the grid condition levels. We are currently under a weather watch. Yesterday, they issued a voluntary conservation notice. The next level is the highest, an energy emergency alert, in which the worst would mean controlled outages are possible. Conserving would mean not using your big appliances, dishwashers, clothes washer, and dryer during a specific time. So, of course, we need to watch out for those this summer. Reporting live in Northwest Harris County, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC2 News. Kathy. Thank you. Remember, if your AC goes out and you need a safe place to escape the heat for a while, there are several cooling centers all across town. We've got a whole list of them on our website. Click to Houston.com. You can find them by searching cooling centers on our website.